Welcome to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. This is an Ask Judy segment, and um, if you're enjoying all of these, please do like and subscribe. And if you'd like to know when I'm posting more, hit that notification bell. And you're more than welcome to share these links with anybody else you know who you think might enjoy them. So today I'm going to be talking about the clothes, the Walton wardrobe department. I've had a few questions. Pat asked, I noticed that the dresses worn by the female cast were more than simply made out of old flower sacks. They were cotton, but expertly tailored. Were they as comfortable as they appeared? So I thought this raised that question of how some of the wardrobe came about on the Waltons. So we worked at Warner Brothers Studios. Warner Brothers had a wardrobe department. So for the first season, we did go up we had uh, appointments, so we had uh, like costume fittings. And I went up to see our costumer, Patricia Norris, and she had a number of things set aside for me to try on that were of the period that would be not only correct for the time period, but also for where the Waltons lived in this rural area of Virginia. So I would have gone in and tried on any number of pieces of clothing and then the ones that worked right for fit me the way the customer wanted them to and also worked for the show would have been set aside in my section of wardrobe and then each actor had a section for their wardrobe and in a given scene our costume designers and our on-set wardrobe people would uh you know they, they'd break down the script and decide how many different days how many different costumes for each character and then they would choose which things they wanted us to wear on which day. Sometimes, you know, I could have some input. I might say, you know, I'd really like to wear this dress or this outfit for this scene. Um, but most of the time I just kind of went, oh, okay, they put that dress in there. I guess I'll put that one on. Patricia Norris was with us on the Waltons for five seasons. And her son also came in and worked. And he stayed for a number more seasons during the course of the Waltons. Patricia went on and continued to work on a number of other shows and films. She was nominated for six Oscars, including for 12 Years a Slave, for which she was nominated and won multiple awards for that fabulous film. The film Sunset, 2010, The Year We Make Contact, Victor Victoria, one of my favorite films, The Elephant Man, Fabulous, and Days of Heaven were all films that she was nominated for an Oscar for Best Costume Design. So clearly a very knowledgeable and one of the premier designers in our industry. So we were very fortunate to have Patricia. Early on um, with this Warner Brothers stock, uh, some of these clothes had been in that wardrobe department for some time and they were, a lot of them in were cotton. And for the girls with dresses and shirts and things like that, they became very threadbare from being cleaned so often and they would get tears in them, you know, and so they would get gaff tape, you know, black, I mean, sorry, uh, gray gaff tape. And they would tape the um, the wardrobe, like inside a dress, they they just put a piece of tape in there. Well, when we were outside and it was hot, the tape and against our, our body, you might sweat. And so you'd end up with like the tape sticking to your back as well as the costume. And, and eventually they'd have to say goodbye to a piece of clothing because it had just <laughs> had too many holes and it couldn't be worn again, but they would have to at least finish out the episode so that it would match. <laughs> uh, so a lot of times people have commented thinking that some of the clothes didn't seem real period. Well, some of them were really, really period. Um, and early on, I found that we didn't always have the best fitting clothes. We did deal with the aspect of hand-me-downs where um, I know there was a, a blue dress with a pink ribbon that uh, was made for Mary Ellen for, I believe, the Easter Story episode when I went to that dance with GW. Well, in some later episodes, uh, Aaron was wearing that dress, so it had been handed down from Mary Ellen to Aaron. We noticed times when Elizabeth was getting too tall for her dresses, and and so her dresses start looking a little short on her. So these were all things that were very true and, and real to life in, in that period. We didn't have a lot of different dresses, so we wore the same things, or the boys wore the same shirts and jeans, and um, for, you know, because people wouldn't have an entire closet full of clothes. You were, you were fortunate to have a few things that you wore, so that's what we did. 
as the series continued and we and we progressed into the 40s, there was a period in time when later in the 70s, 40s fashion came back into style in real life. And I know that the costumers were able to literally go shop off the rack for clothes for me. And I was a little frustrated myself personally because sometimes I would go out shopping for personal clothes and would see things and think, I could wear this on the show. I don't want to be wearing clothes in real life that look like I'm wearing my wardrobe. So I would personally tend to steer away from that. Whereas in the beginning, in the early 70s, when fashion was very specific, you know, low hip hugger jeans with bell bottoms and, and things like that, that were not the fashion for the 30s. But by the time we kind of got towards the 40s, you know, real life and the period had kind of merged a bit. So I recall that. And in fact, I'm wearing this particular, this is a dress I'm wearing, but when I found this dress uh, a couple of years ago, I was looking for something for um, um, an event I was going to, and I got it and it's always sort of felt to me a little like it's something that I could have worn on the Waltons in later years. Um, so I kind of get a kick out of that now. Um, I did have my um, my favorite outfits uh, that I like to wear when the Waltons were having uh, going to a, a special party or Mary Ellen had something special she was doing. Um, a couple in particular, my favorites, is this this pink dress that I wore in the Whirlwind episode when I'm saying goodbye or I think I'm saying goodbye to Jonesy. Um, I just I love the shape of it, and I love the slightly, you know, the flared skirt. Um, I, I just thought that was always a very flattering fashion on women, and so I was very happy to be able to wear this. Also, this uh, lovely peach dress that I'm wearing here in this episode, The Spirit, uh, when we're celebrating Christmas. I, I really enjoy this, this dress, too. So there were my favorites over the years. Some of the hats were a lot of fun. I also love, you know, the fashion that some of the other women in the show got to wear. Uh, the boys had less option. They went from knickers to long pants. Um, I, you know, I, of course, started in overalls a lot, and, and those were always fun because they were really comfortable. Uh, wore jeans at times. So the boys, because they were working in the mill and stuff, a lot of jeans and, and just shirt, button-up shirts. Uh, people didn't wear T-shirts. Uh, some of Some characters in the show did. But there was definitely research that went into it, and they did do their best to keep it period uh, to, to that time. We'll talk about the hair another time, because I know that didn't stay all that period. But yeah, with the fashion, it was. Then there were some of the other characters, the Baldwin sisters who had fabulous clothes, and theirs were always not quite up to current fashion because they were from a different era, so their clothing always evoked an earlier time period. Uh, Cora Beth, uh, I'm sure, had a lot of fun, Ronnie Claire, with some of the great outfits that she got to wear because there was, she had all of her sort of everyday clothes around the store, and then she had certain items that will, you know, had a little more flair to them, and some of the hats that that she wore, the Baldwin sisters wore, were were wonderful, and then we had guest stars who who got to wear wonderful clothes, um, like in the actress when when she comes into town and she has very elegant clothing and of course dresses Mary Ellen up in one of those dresses, uh, which doesn't go well. <laughs> uh, so we, we did have that, even some of the men, some of the suits were fabulous and you notice that the, the ties changed width and stuff and the lapels changed and, and stuff like that. Some of the shoes were a lot of fun. Uh, so it's always, it's always great getting to do period uh, shows because the costuming is so terrific. That's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons about the clothing. I will be back with more Behind the Scenes about episodes and also more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.